Hey guys, you join me today at the Summer Watch Show. We've got the legend, we've got Neil from Duckworth Prestix, a man that you all know on the channel, the man that brought Tag Heuer to the UK. Neil, how are you finding the show, sir? It's great to be back here at BQ Watches, my second time. Uh, I'm delighted to be back, and being back, we've got a couple of new things, if I can just introduce them. Yep. The first thing I'd like to tell you about is the new Coronation Watch. It's the year of our coronation, coronation of our king 2023 and I made a couple of watches this year to commemorate that both of them fitted with a Myota movement with an orchid there are two models one in a salmon pink dial and the other in a midnight blue and I'll just show that here and you'll see that not only is the the watch automatic but you can Fantastic. see the whole automatic movement Amazing. through the see-through back and those are 795 each L numbered limited edition a fabulous GMT watch to, to show you this is the first time it's been out uh, it's not due till October but I've got working samples here to show everybody at BQ watches and I'll start with the all steel black fume dial GMT Rivington. I call it a Rivington. It's a little village near Bolton. It's just the name of my product. GMT. Now the difference about this particular watch from all my others is the dial. I'm using applied indices so you can see they're slightly raised. The bezel contains a ceramic insert. It's a screw down crown. It's a sapphire glass and a GMT movement and all that on a steel bracelet for £895. Very good value for money. Yeah, and uh, we've got the same thing on rubber or leather strap. Amazing. All the straps are interchangeable, as are the bracelets. And if you buy it on a strap, that's £795. So for a numbered GMT automatic, uh, I think it's a uh, remarkable value. And it's a great looking watch. It is. I'm really it's pleased with that. It's real summer vibe about it, especially that one with the orange strap. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah. Fantastic. And what's that type of dial? What dial is that? It's like a textured... Well, I compare it with the... Let me compare it with the... Uh, wave dial, is The it? wave dial, which I launched last year on the Belmont. This is a wave dial. It's the water-resistant diver's watches. This one has got a waffle pattern on it. Call it cross-hatch, call it a waffle. Uh, it's still using a fume finish where it's lighter in the middle and it goes darker towards the outside but it has this waffle over it and then setting it off perfectly are the raised applied indices all the way around which look terrific amazing amazing and uh, what's the um, bezel is that ceramic the bezel? yeah the, be the bezel the first time i've used a ceramic inlay uh, and it's just one color of ceramic inlay so whether you are having the blue dial or the orange dial green or black dial there is one black ceramic insert. And it goes quite well because the dial gets darker as it gets to the outside. So it's natural that the ceramic inlay will be in black. Amazing, amazing. Hey guys, so now I'm going to introduce you to a guy called Ian who represents Aquastar, also the likes of Out of Order and Squally. So let's have a look at Aquastar. This is a new brand to the Summer Watch Show. They've never exhibited here at the BQ event space before. Ian, tell us a little bit more about Aquastar watches. So Aquastar is a vintage dive watch brand from the 1960s. Very, very distinctive design here. Um, it was designed not by a, a, a watch, uh, a watchmaker, but um, the guys who made instruments for like depth gauges and, and dive equipment. Very distinctive in the sense that it's got this large subdial. Um, the designs are absolutely faithful to the 1960s models. Um, you've got uh, here. You've got the Deep Star, the Deep Star Two. So the Chrono version there is using a, a Le Jeu Pere, um column wheel chronograph movement. Fantastic. Really beautiful movement. Um, available in, in different dial colours. So this is one of the very original dial colours. You've also got the, the, uh, the vintage black. There's the silver. Um, we've done some special colours as well. So the, the pink one there 
was a special edition that we did. What's the price point on these, Ian? So they go from 1600 to 3200 for the Beautiful. chronograph models. Um, they sort of got that doxa build quality about them, I find. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the, the, the brand is, uh, is headed up by Rick Mirai. It's a part of the Synchron Watch group. Fantastic. And of course, Rick was the person who was originally responsible for bringing Doxa Sub back oh, in 2003. Right, okay. You see, I can see the DNA there. So Rick's got it's a really, race, really uh, great heritage. It's got, it feels like there's some sort of heritage behind it. And I automatically felt that DNA from Doxa in these pieces. So um, fantastic. And what's the price of this Samandar version? That was 1600. 1600, not bad, not bad no. at all. It's using a Salita SW200 movement. Very nice, I love this sort of, um, so please, so what's the sort of background, the history of Aquastar? How did they, when did they start? Back in, back in the early 60s. Early 60s. So, uh, 60, 63. So the, um, the, the original uh, concept was to create the, a decompression decompression scale on the actual bezel um, so this was using the French French decompression decompression scale that they, they inv actually invented that um, so the, the very significant sort of uh, design details there so like the art deco markers on the on the dial are very very distinctive um, this was a watch worn by um, Eugenie Clark back in the 60s who was, who was known as the the shark lady so um, uh, also worn by Jacques Cousteau, as, as, as we know, he's, more, he's worn many dive watches, hasn't he? So, yeah, so it's absolutely superb. And you're also representing Out of Alden. These have been really a fan favourite of the show, haven't they? Well, actually, on the first speaking watch show, a lot of people yeah. purchased these. A very sort of interesting colourway. So what's the story behind Out of Order? So the story behind Out of Order is the watches are designed to be patinaed. So they're already, the, the cases are aged to create that, uh, that sort of vintage look to them. Um, this collection, the Shaker collection, so they're all dedicated around the, the cocktails and the... So it injects a bit of fun into the watches. Um, but having said that, they're genuine dive watches, so 300 metres water resistant. And they're GMT uh, they're as well, GMTs, they? yeah, so yeah, yeah. MH34, Seiko movement. NH34As, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic, Fantastic. Fantastic loom on there as well. Uh, the detail on the on the on the dials great is fantastic. Great watch for the summer watch show, isn't it? Oh Timmy yeah, yeah, that's great one. They're, they're particularly appreciated by um, Rolex Rolex owners due to the due to the design, very Rolex sort of um, sub GMT style. Fantastic, and you a lot the storage one as well. Kind yeah, of and you've got this distress look going on here, yeah. Yeah, so it's a special process that's um, applied to the steel to give it a vintage look. Um, it's a lot. It's a what no is the price point of these in? So these go from 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 150 pounds. Well, that, uh, that cheap, yeah. To yeah, to about 800. That's 800. kind of the price range. So what, what on are those. these ones here? But price they're 450, 450. 450. These are really nice, aren't they? That's they're beautiful. Yeah. Look at this one. Look at that blue. Fantastic. Really pops, doesn't it? And the insert on the actual bezel is that some sort of crystal? Yeah, yeah, that's ceramic insert on the bezel. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's a lovely kind of domed finish. Yeah, it's got a lovely as well. domed yeah, yeah, sapphire, crystal, but the bezel's domed as well. Lovely detail on the case Beautiful. back. Yeah. So that's that cocktail shaker. Yep. Yeah, each, this is a packaging as well. Oh, so wow. it's the actual. This is the packaging, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, wow. so it's a genuine. You get them one of those, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, you, don't, you don't get the gin or the, yeah. the, the whiskey there. <laughs> Fantastic. And this is a brand that needs no introduction. You've got Squally here. So we've had you on the channel many times. Bit of a fan yeah. favourite over the years, isn't it, Squally? De and, uh, definitely. A bit underrated in the UK for some reason. Um, and uh, you're hoping to change that here, I think. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the Charles von Buren logo there, you know, this was the original case maker back in the 60s uh, for luxury watches. So yeah. for, 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 for Blanc Pan, for, for Breitling, Amiga. Um, even Rolex um, used Von Buren as their case maker. Um, 
many, many vintage dive watches from lots of other brands carry the Von Buren logo on the dial because it was so well respected as a, as a case maker. So a lot of heritage there in regards to the brand, but this one's always captured my imagination. Yeah, you the love that one, don't you? Blue, you know, for the summer watch row, this watch really does sum up what summer is on the wrist, to be fair. I love the way it plays with the light, the different shades of sunburst, blue, azure, blue dial. is absolutely stunning, I have to say. Very, very nice indeed. There's some new pieces as well, haven't you, I believe? Yeah? Yep, the bronze is new. So this is a brand new piece. Um, so a couple of slight differences. Got a domed crystal, applied indices. Um, the crown is now at two o'clock on that particular model. Oh, right. So normally it was at what, five o'clock? Four, four o'clock normally, yeah. Yeah, so, All right, so it, it, it gives it a totally different look, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, date window's in a slightly different position. So really, really beautiful finishing, really pops really that one. Nice, yeah. Again, the loom is just absolutely Fantastic. amazing. Yeah, amazing stuff. On this one. Amazing. So I did notice there was a one UK exclusive, wasn't there as well? The UK exclusive yeah. was the, is so this, this one? one yeah. yeah. So that's the Super Squally, yeah, exclusive to the UK, and it's a, a, a special edition. It's, it's, it's faithful to the original uh, 1960s uh, Super Squally design. Uh, in fact, you can find lots of vintage dive watches that are using this exact, uh, exact design of watch wow. with different brands on. Fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. So there's really a colour palette here for everyone, isn't there? So these are more of your deeper divers, I take it? Yeah, this is a 2002, so this was a real pro dive watch back in the 70s. Um, the design is absolutely faithful to the model in the 70s there. You can see the, the, the on the outer bezel, on the inner part of the outer bezel, you see it's the hex, it's like got facets, so that's oh, yeah. actually screwed, the, 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 the front is actually screwed down onto the case. Um, you actually operate the, 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 the bezel by pushing down on the bezel. It's locked, so you push down on the bezel and then you can turn it in either direction. Fantastic, amazing, amazing. Well, Ian, you've been a star as always, sir. And, Thank you, um, Dee. What's, what's on your cars now? What does the future hold for Broad Agency? Oh, yeah. lots more limited editions, special editions and, uh, and collaborations. That's, that's, where, that's what really seems to be appealing to the watch fans out there. So the if moment. anyone's interested in purchasing any of these watches, what would they need to do, Ian? Where would they need to go? Uh, we've got a, uh, between, between approximately five retailers across the different brands in the UK so if you search any one of these brands um, you'll see those retailers in the UK come up and they all carry Fantastic. stock of these models as well. Excellent stuff. Well thank you Ian and how, how are you enjoying the show at the moment? Oh, it's fantastic, it's great and it's the, you know the, the, the enthusiasm from the from the visitors is just, just amazing. Um, it's really lovely to see genuine watch enthusiasts and, and the appreciation that they have for all the the backstories and the little details in the watches. It's just fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic, Ian. Well, we we'll hope to see you at the Winter Watch Show as well. So take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Guys, we have Chrome Calibre. This is Carl all the way from Ireland. Hi, How's it going, Carl? You all right? All and um, the stage is yours. Tell us a little bit about your brand. Um, Chrome Calibre basically designs uh, watch winders. Um, and we have the Retrobot here. This is a fully uh, aluminium watch winder. Um, it, is, it has a Swiss cubic movement inside, which is Bluetooth enabled, so you can Fantastic. choose the rotations, and uh, the amount of rotations and the direction of the rotation per day. Um, and then you have two switches on the front. One controls the mechanism, and one controls the lights. Fantastic, very Johnny Five. Very Johnny my, my, my era, I have to say, very cool. Um, so it's fully made out of aluminium and it runs on two C-cell batteries at the back um, for up to about two years. And if you don't want to use that, you can also plug it in with a USB-C. Fantastic. And what's the RRP price on these? The RRP in Euro is 2500 in Sterling it's about 2150 Fantastic. Uh, but there is a launch coming up and we'll be uh, issuing it that relatively soon. If you sign up to our newsletter on our website, um, you'll be uh, primed and ready to, to get the early, uh, early bird special. Fantastic. So you see the specs and the different colours that you have as well. Fantastic. That's the so website, got, guys. So uh, you've got green and gold. You've got the uh, Monaco blue and gold. You've got the Tiffany and silver. 
you got high risk red and silver and you've got the uh, cyber yellow and black finish. Fantastic, fantastic. So guys, check them out, www.chromecaliber.com if they are of interest, but they're absolutely fantastic. Very retro vibe. If you're into this type of stuff, it's a must have. Good stuff. Thank you very much. No worries, Carl, good stuff. Guys, today I want to introduce you to a guy called... I'm Jacko from NDC Straps. Uh, welcome to the Summer Watch Show. How are you finding the show, sir? Really, really nice. Great to be here. Great to come and see Spencer's new premises at BQ Watches. Absolutely amazing. Met some really great people today. Fantastic. Really good. Tell us a little bit about NDC Straps. How did it start? So NDC Straps um, began, um, well, actually in the 60s and 70s, um, the French Marine National Divers were issued just a watch head. Uh, some of the divers uh, bought watch straps and some cut a length of the elastic from their reserve parachute case. Um, and um, NDC straps added the hook to that and the rectangular piece of metal which it clips into to make a watch strap. Uh, and my, my straps are, are made, they're the only ones in the world that are actually made from the original uh, French parachute material that's made still to this day in the original factory in France, which is owned by generations of the same family. Amazing, amazing. Well, I do love your tablecloth, by the way. Very Thank you very fitting. much. Thank you. So what are the prices of your straps? So the, the standard NDC strap that you see here, these are £60. The ones with flags are £65. And if you want a style without a hook, that uh, is a single pass strap. You can't call them NATO straps these days. Um, these are £70. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. And how would they go about buying these straps? So you go to ndcstraps.com um, and the website's up and running. I've got Instagram, you can go on there, share the hashtag ndcstraps. And yeah. Fantastic. Good stuff. Hope you enjoy the show. Take Thank care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. This is a mother of pearl doll. Um, this is the Narade range with a tungsten bezel. Okay. And um, Modrobella is the name of the watch. Okay. In Italian, it means mother of pearl. Right. So if you look at that on natural sunlight, it's absolutely fantastic, I have to say. If we get it in natural, let's move around here. And if you look at that, let me just show you that in natural sunlight. You get to see yeah. that little glitz. Glistening. Yeah, it's just got a really... Actually, look, if you look yeah. at it now, look at that. The good thing is we've got these windows here, yes. and uh, you can see that it's uh, it's a green, but it looks more like a dial. Yeah. Uh, do you want to guess the price on that? Uh, I wouldn't know. It's uh, under eight hundred pounds. Seriously. With a Swiss movement, two hundred meters water resistant, wow. tungsten. You can get a Canova bracelet with them as well. So they come on this bracelet. This is another version, the original tungsteno. Comes with a Canova bracelet as well. This is like a rhodium dial. Okay. This is the original. It's called the Narade Tungsteno, um, this particular model. But look at that rhodium Stunning. dial with a tongue. It does pick up a few fingerprints, so you, all, you end up polishing the watch right. all the time. But it's very much a dressy diver. Yeah. It's sort of something quite, it's a little very dressy, I have to say. But it, it's um, got a bit, it's, it's, it looks cool, doesn't it? It's not a proper tallish watch to say. It's a watch that you could wear with a suit yes. or with like, sort of sort of um, leather casual wear sort of thing. Yeah. As well as casual. yeah, yeah. So it plays with the light, amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. So what are you wearing? Your AP, your Royal Oak Offshore, yeah. Vampire. Thank oh, you. That's a big boy, isn't it? Thank that you one. so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. So you're, you're quite into big watches, so that would be would be good for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. All right, Paul. Well, if it's a good fancy. This is pretty in the light. Nice style, yeah. And I like the. This is tungsten, Paul. I don't know if you're aware of tungsten. It's more hard wearing than yeah. ceramics. So um, this is from Venice, Venezianica. Nice piece. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Paul? Show Paul the uh, the green one. They all like the look of that. The mother of Paul with the tungsten as well. That's, that's really pretty dial. Yeah, lovely in the light, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And under £800, Paul, with um, a Swiss Celita movement, 200 metres water resistant. I like the look of the... Yeah, yeah, with a Tiffany, we'll have a look at that. That's a 39mm version. 
I had that. I was out in in the motherland Cyprus wearing that. It was. Uh, I got a lot of compliments, and and the wife likes that one as well because of the Tiffany blue. But you wear the thirty nine. I do. Yeah, I wear, wear them. It, yeah. Oh, well, I can wear them all really. Yeah, yeah. 30, if you can wear a forty two, you can wear a thirty nine yeah, yeah. easier. You know. Nice. And this is the ultra black. It uses like what H. Moser used that special paint. They use a Japanese version called Musa Black. It does exactly the same job. It absorbs. Get the sample on there, Paul. That one over there. This is just a sample. That's the one that's a real working piece. That absorbs 99.7% of light, Paul. It's like looking into a hole. Mm. Yeah. And guess the price point of this? Five hundred pounds. Wow! It's, a, it's sold out all the time. Oh, it's really unusual, isn't it? Yeah, like you yeah. Say, it's like looking into yeah, a hole. Yeah, yeah, it's like looking into a hole. It is. We're doing a thirty-six millimeter version of that now. And these are the ladies' versions. They come with these bracelets as well. That's a unique piece. That GMT. They've got their own Swiss-made movement now that's been implemented. Uh, what a so prod made for Venice Inica. It's a sample piece. Um, it's in production, but that is the first watch to have a combined ceramic and tungsten bezel forged together. And it's £1,200 sterling. Nice bracelets. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well made, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a new brand unique to... to um, to BQ, this is Auto 8, and um, they're making their debut in the UK today. And um, it's quite easy to tell the time, so yeah, it's a retrograde. So th there's one hour again, so yep. that would be five past uh, one, for example. Okay, yep. And this is the three hour wandering arm, a bit like an Urwerk, yeah. this model here. <laughs> but it works, so we've got a minute track on the top. So if you look at the time there, it is 40 minutes past three. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. So you get used to it, it's a new way of telling the time. It's so struggling with the arm. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. it. It's the most affordable three hour wandering arm on the market made to that sort of quality, if that makes sense. You tell the time? It's my new way of telling the time. Yeah. I'm learning so many ways of telling the time today. Well, you've got the minute track on the top. And you oh, see the okay. three o'clock, it would be 40 minutes past... Oh, so whichever one aligns. Yeah, yeah, 40 one minutes past three. Minutes. You still and if you want something even more wacky, look no further than AK. Um, well, Paul, yeah, well, these watches, if you want something a bit funky and wacky, it, it's, Paul's like a magnet for that sort of stuff. But that is a Paul Fort watch, isn't it, to be fair? So if you look at the hour mark of it, that's eight, so it's, it's 26 minutes past eight. And this is called the Cobra, and it retails at £1,800 sterling. They've got a brand new release that's come out. This is called the Tarantula. It's pretty much their signature piece. It's, uh, it looks dangerous as well. If you look at the dial, you've got like a spider web in there as well. There's carbon fiber holding the three hour wandering arms and you've got a minute track at the bottom. <laughs>
have here EPOS. It's a Swiss independent Swiss manufacturer established in 1983. Um, very artistic designs, all hand wound or automatic movements only. They don't do quartz whatsoever. So we have some really interesting pieces. Hold uh, a look. A lot of skeleton watches over here. All the movements are either ETA, Solita or Unitas. They buy the movements and then they modify them, they decorate them all in-house. So we have here one of our top selling pieces. It's this one here. It's uh, ETA 2824, fully skeletonized with uh, luminous hands and uh, white dial, blued, uh, blued, hands, blued steel hands and uh, Roman numerals. One of our best-selling pieces is this one here. It's called the Verso 2.0. So we have here a Unitas 6497 movement, hand round movement, that's been modified by the watchmakers at EPOS. What they've done is they've put the hour and minute hand through to the back of the movement and then fitted the movement into the case inversely. So you would normally see all of the intricate workings of the movement on the back of the watch, but you can see that on the front. And it's fully skeletonized as well with perlage patterns and uh, engraving. Fantastic, it's a beautiful piece, really is. And this is the first version of the Verso where you can see the whole movement through the sapphire crystal glass. Amazing. And on the back, they've left the second hand on the back of the movement and engrave the pulsometer on the back there. So Amazing, you can fantastic. your pulse if you feel like doing so. One of our other best-selling pieces is the Passion Handwound Open Heart. So this is the Unitas 6497 movement again. Beautifully engraved and uh, prolage patterns. And this is a limited edition piece. Uh, it's uh, PVD rose gold and uh, grey hands, uh, rose gold hands in grey dial and small second hand and uh, open heart. Beautiful piece. And what's the RRP on that? On this one is uh, 1,800 pounds. 1,800, fantastic. Beautiful. And then one of our sort of bread and butter pieces is uh, this one here. It's, take it out. So we have here a jumping hour. So it's an ETA base movement with EPOS in-house modification. So instead of an hour hand, you have a rotating disc, similar to the date, but uh, you, so you have the, the date at the six o'clock, the hour at the three o'clock, and it just happens to be five past three, and that's the way you can tell the time there. Fantastic, and what's the RRP on this? This one is 3,000, and I think 3,100 uh, What movement does this watch host? It's an uh, ETA-based, I think it's a 2832, uh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but then it's modified in-house by the watchmakers at EPOS. Fantastic. And if anyone's interested in regards to these pieces, how would they go about purchasing a piece? So they can contact us directly. We're Mode 9 UK. We're the distributors for the brand. And we also have uh, another website, which is exquisiteluxury.com. Okay, Exquisite let's assume for London. you guys to check this out. Show us so, the card again. So it's exquisiteluxurylondon, and it's exquisite-luxury.com. So that's one of our retailers that has the brand. Fantastic. And you're also representing ML Trurier, which are a very cool so we have brand. Another young brand that's uh, established in 1998. ML Trurier, it's based in Geneva. They do a range of uh, quartz and automatic watches for ladies and gents. Uh, what's different about this brand is 60% of the collection are ladies watches. So very much more of a focus on ladies watches, ladies automatics. So one of our top selling ladies watches is this one here. It's the Solios. Um, it's in-house automatic movement. And what they've done is not only the, the whole movement, but even the balance wheel and the hairspring is developed in-house, which is very unusual for such a young brand. Fantastic. One of our best selling pieces in this brand is this one here, the Challenger yep. Cliff. Stunning blue dial design. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, I have to say. In, Roman numerals the and uh, the hour and minute hand have a sort of tuning fork design, which is very 
obviously apt for time telling. Then we have a brand new piece from this collection is the Challenger Cliff chronograph with a power reserve. It's a stunning piece this one, brand new with a lovely blue dial with vertical stripes. Uh, I love the facets design. of the case as well, really cool, different angles there. You can Beautifully see the done, movement yeah. at the back there. And what's the movement on this? This is uh, Valju 7751. Fantastic. And so is it the same again, go to Mode 9 if they're interested in buying? Yeah, this one is available at a few independent retailers and online shops, but anyone can contact us at Mode 9 Enquiries at mode9uk.com is our email. Um, they can contact us directly or just search on Google for the uh, retailers. This one is brand new. It's it's really lovely piece of dial. It's just absolutely stunning, in my opinion, anyway. Fantastic. And then we have here another new piece. It's a Challenger Deep, which is the dive watch, 300 meter dive watch. So we have what I'm wearing with the blue dial. Beautiful. It's uh, a stunning piece as well. And this one is the chronograph version. And you can see quite a thick. It looks like a. What's the width of that? I guess that's quite got a high depth rating, I would have thought this one. The depth on the standard design is 13 mil, and on this one I think it's about 14 and a half mil. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's quite a chunky piece. It's uh, 42 mil is the width, 42 and a half mil is the width of this one, and this one I think is 43 and a half mil. So it's quite a big watch, but the design of the band, it's quite flexible. So it sits and hugs the wrist quite well. I've got quite a slim wrist, and yep. it still sits quite nicely on my so wrist. So it wears well. So what's that, 42 millimeters? This is 42 and a half. 42 and a half, okay. And the chronograph is 43 and a half. 43, fantastic. Excellent stuff. And the piece de la resistance, as they say, is this piece here, which is their grand complication. It's a chronograph, moon phase, day, date, month, uh, stunning pieces, the Lac Le Mans collection. Do you want to just point it up to the camera, that one? Yeah. Have a look. Let's get a better angle of it, that's it. So this is a moon phase one, yeah? Is this moon? like a retrograde, this one? It's, uh, no, it's not retrograde, it's a uh, moon phase, chronograph, day, date, and month, and obviously the time, and uh, a 24 hour display as well. It's a beautiful piece. Right. Stunning piece. And what's the RRP on this? This one is £3,250. Hey, it's a good price. So, fantastic. It's a Brilliant stuff. Classic dress watch. Another really nice piece that we have here, which is one of their in-house modifications. An Eta base movement with rotating discs instead of hands to tell the time. And you have the day, the date, the hour, and the minute. It's classic. Beautiful dress watch. It's like a rhodium dial, this one, right? The dial is, a, is a, a dark grey. The case is titanium. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's quite a light piece, and obviously on the leather strap as well. Uh, yeah, so it's a stunning piece, this one. And this one, it's uh, £2,200.
Thank you.